Today we are talking more curriculum. In my last video, I shared with you what we will be using for curriculum for my second grader. I went through all of the core subjects and I left out the family subjects because they needed a whole video dedicated to just these two. So that's what we are going to be talking about today. Uh, but first off, I want to welcome any of you guys who are new to my channel. My name is Janet. I am a homeschooling mom of two boys. My oldest will be starting second grade and my little one is going to be starting kindergarten later in the fall. Um, he is four years old and he'll be five till next year. So we're starting off with some TK, some review, and I will be sharing the curriculum that, we'll, that we will be using for him in a separate video. This will be our third year homeschooling. So I do hope you stick around, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new videos. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Let's get right into today's video. Ever since we started homeschooling, I have been putting together our own little unit studies with social studies and science. So we can really just dive into whatever we are learning about and just dedicate the whole week to it, make it fun. So I pull from so many different resources. I'm still going to be using this home learning year by year. I have found that this book is a must if you are homeschooling just to uh, flip through and take notes, kind of have a little checklist here and see if there's anything being left out or any gaps in the curriculum. And you can just pick from here and fill in those gaps yourself, girl. I just wanted to point this one out because this one has been very helpful in all subjects. Just filling in, again, the gaps or really just knowing what to teach uh, at what age. So it covers uh, preschool all the way to the high school years those early elementary school years it really breaks it down to you by subject what we are learning and then gives you uh, links and books and references and field trip ideas and craft ideas and a bunch of recommendations and resources are listed in here so can't say enough good things about this now for science i am going to stick to what i know and that is we are just gonna kind of create our own again uh using this home learning year by year and this everything you need to ace science in one big fat notebook i had been using the the kids picture dictionary to kind of get ideas for little you know mini units yael from mama yaya share this book and how she's using it for science and i thought you know what it's time to switch it up a little bit and bring out some new things now this is like middle school age so you might want to kind of flip through to through it before you know letting your, your kids flip through it because they will have some questions i really like the the setup of this and then the little doodles and all that really get the the really grabs the, the kids attention it's just kind of a, a spine to flip through and pick what we want to learn. I am flipping through this a lot and see kind of what aligns with this. I'm not scheduling 36 units of science. Uh, we are breaking up. I think I have like 15 <laughs> planned for now um, and I'm still adding to it. I also want to kind of see what the kids are, are into, what they want to learn a little more about so I can add more weeks as the year goes on. For history, we are going to be using History Quest. We are using the ebook version. So I did print out the study guide for myself, although I have it on my computer. I want it like on print. I had been eyeing this curriculum for a while and I don't hear a lot about this. Um, it is a secular cu curriculum, complete history curriculum for elementary age children, uh, combining history quest with hands-on activities, literature, geography, and writing. Uh, this is early times, prehistory to 8th century uh, CE. And then they do have the, I think, middle times and the United States. I am going to show you what's included like or what's recommended to use with the curriculum. And then I'll turn you over and give you a little flip through. Now, this is my first time using this curriculum, so it's not gonna be like a full review. It's just kind of my first impression at a glance sort of thing. History Quest study guide. Again, this is the study guide. I printed it out. I got the e 
version and it also includes the history quest like the book it's got a bunch of stories and I don't know I can't flip through that one right now so I can't really show you um but this is what it looks like it's the same cover And then it also suggests to use uh, the Us Born Encyclopedia of World History. And then throughout each unit, it gives you a list of suggested uh, suggested reading and like, you know, to further dive in. So you get your uh, table of contents on like how to use the, stu the study guide. And like it really answers any questions you might have, including how to use it with uh, multiple kids of different ages, which I think that's the case for a lot of families. Um, so it is very versatile in that way that you don't need like a specific uh, curriculum for each one. You can just kind of customize it for each child depending on age. It also uh, covers the huga history and like their approach which is you know like kind of gather around and uh read and kind of cozy and fun sort of approach that's what that is i had to look it up it includes a required book list which includes the two books that i already mentioned and then for the huga history literature um it breaks it down by huga story a master supply list of all the things that you will need throughout the curriculum, which is my favorite part about the curriculum that is very hands-on. My kids do really well with that. So I'm really excited about this one. It includes an introduction unit, which is laid out like all the units are going to be uh, laid out for you. So it's really simple to read and everything is literally just laid out for you. For each uh, unit, you have your uh, quest of the week. So this one is learn the definition of ancient history and then resources and materials, enrichment reading, supplies needed, and then for what day you're going to need it. And then it gives you a suggested uh, schedule. Now, this curriculum suggests suggest to do history every day which that is not what we're going to be doing but it breaks it down for five days and the lessons that you would do each day if you're going to do history every day it's going to be really short lessons so i figured that i can kind of cluster up some of these lessons um not necessarily in the order that they have put it here something that works better for us maybe that it's not going to be overwhelming so it gives you the unit schedule suggested again don't this is not like you have to do it this way. You figure out what works for you and your family. It goes through the terms and concepts, the big ideas, and then the details. And then it breaks it up for you uh, by lesson. So day one, discover. And then it gives you what to do for that day. Day two, explore. Day three, create. And the directions for the craft or sometimes it's cooking. Day four, demonstrate. Understanding. And then day five, enrich which includes more books and web links and unit notes. This one doesn't include any unit notes, but there are going to be units that include unit notes. Little disclaimers uh, for either the reading or the lesson or just like little notes for the parent. So it's that pattern every uh, week. Now it does have 27 units. And then throughout the curriculum, there are four uh, hugga weeks which it's kind of like take a break here you go just open up a book and read and gather around and have some fun cozy up uh stories are uh, fictional characters living in this time that you're learning about and it just really allows the child to kind of you know gauge what it was like living during those times so I think that's fun. So that's 31 weeks, which I appreciate that it's not like filled up to the rim uh, because that way I can also schedule some weeks off from history or use some weeks to kind of catch up if we are some for some reason falling falling a little behind on our schedule. So I do appreciate that it's not 36 units, you know, it has a bunch of other templates that you're going to use throughout the the curriculum for crafts. The creating part of it i am super duper excited for this along with that i am also going to be using these history notebooks from school Ness. i got them off of amazon this one is labeled history notebook and she's got a bunch of different fun colors that you can pick from um and this is just a notebook with lined paper it's maybe like two-thirds lined paper and then that third up top uh 
it has a space for a picture a drawing so i thought this was a good one to use for those demonstration days that i need him to either do copy work or answer questions or kind of just summarize what he learned um, he can kind of track all of that in here we are going to be using this history timeline notebook which i thought is super cute um it starts off with my history so your child can go ahead and add their history and then it goes through prehistory then ancient times and middle ages early modern modern times and yes and then at the end there's a little section for questions so again i thought this was a fun way to kind of track and just have it all on one in in one notebook so this one you don't have to use one per year you can just keep adding to that that is it for today's video i know it was probably a long one so thank you so much for sticking it out and uh yeah that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys on the next one